want to drive i didn't feel a lot of difference between eqe and eqs for me it was like same kind of cars whatever just passing by but now i see this one kind of suv and it's kind of big so it's bigger than EQE, eqe and it's a little bit more expensive so number one when I got this car and I got the key in my pocket, I came to the car, I came to open the door and it's not opening. So I like, please, can you, can you? And now it's opening. Now it's cool. So I can open the door. If you want to lock it, just push the, so it's locking faster than I'm locking. The mirrors for some reason not falling. Maybe I have to adjust it. And number two, when you see this, you're thinking maybe it's some kind of source uh, of the charging port, right? So you're trying to open it, but the car is locked. So you already, you're asking it, please, can you open it? It's open now, so you can open this, but it's not the port. So this is not the charging port. This is the place where you're gonna put the liquid for your windshield cleaning, right? So number two, it has nice rims and I did check it, it is optional. So those rims 1100 plus for your MSRP. So it's not the standard. By the way, this is the premium uh, edition of the EQS. So there is a lot of different, not a lot, there is two more uh, editions you can buy. But this is the standard one, kind of premium with some options. That's what it looks like when you check in the rims. And again, when I did see there is an aromatic system, I check it out. It is a, exactly the same. Not exactly, they change it. But I mean, it is an aromatic system. Same as back in 2007, 2005, maybe those S classes. They all use the same aromatic system for the suspension. That's cool because it's improved. It's a uh, headache less. It's a nice suspension. And even Tesla, they use it right now. They kind of doing the different things, but whatever they use it. It's a comfortable, nice ride. It's really easy to use it. Plus it doesn't, it's not going to give you a lot of problem with that during the period of time you're using the car, especially if the car is going to be out of warranty. But what I did notice when I checked the suspension, I do see there's a port for different kind of plugs and one of them it's open. I don't know why, but there is some conductor. I mean, there is a connector, the blue one, and you're going to see that right now there's a blue connector and it's open. Looks like it's missing something or it's optional. If you're going to add some option, they're going to plug something in. Again, my question is, uh, if this car made to drive in Alaska, New York, California, doesn't matter, any state, uh, why they left that block open because i can see from here if something's gonna go in it's gonna get corroded why there is no cover on it i have no idea and apparently again i checked the vin number it starts from the number so it means this car assembled in the united states i hope in europe they're not doing the same thing as here but i think again uh, I didn't check it, but probably United States assembling all those Mercedes for Europe, for United States, doesn't matter. Uh, which is kind of, I would say, not acceptable. But again, that's the Mercedes. What can I say? So number three, about interesting thing about this car, that's the hood compartment. Or I would say trunk compartment, but it's not the trunk compartment. It's kind of battery compartment. So the dealers say to my friend who got this car, he told them, don't even open it. It's only battery there. There is nothing to look at it. If you want to add the fluid, it's right there. And uh, over there, just don't think about it. Just keep it closed all the time. And I check myself. Nothing on the key. There is nothing under the dashboard. I have no idea yet how to open it. Probably it's somewhere in the menu. But I don't want to open it. Like the dealers say, it's only battery. There is nothing to do over there. Don't even open it. So we're not going to open it. It's something there. You cannot use it as a trunk. But Tesla, you can. And... Um, there is nothing to add on it, so which is good. Okay, there is some part of the car which is closed and you're not going to be able to open it yourself, probably, because only the service department can open it. That's cool, that's interesting, I don't know why, but it's nice. So the size of the car, I would say it is kind of SUV, but it's kind of short. If you're going to compare it to GLE, for example, I think GLE a little bit higher and it has a little bit more room inside because when I'm driving this car inside, so the door panel is touching my leg on the left and the middle central console is kind of touching right. Maybe I'm too big guy for this car. But again, it's a Mercedes, 100,000 plus. You have to pay for this car to get it. Lease, not lease, doesn't matter. But again, it's a huge amount of money. So it's supposed to be for the different kind of people. For the short, tall, you know, big one or small one, doesn't matter. I'm kind of not the 
small guy. I'm not super fat, but I'm not super tall. I'm not super short. But again, in my opinion, for me, I wouldn't buy it because it's not comfortable. So I'm kind of not squeezing myself inside. But when I'm driving this car, I'm not feeling comfortable because every time I want to move my leg or something else, so I'm touching all the panels, door panel, whatever. So the 21 inch rims for this car, I think is good. Again, the standard with zero uh, extra spending, it's supposed to be 20 inch rims. This one 21 and it's 1100 extra for the MSRP. Uh, it looks so cool, but I think even if you're going to put the bigger one, it's still going to be nice and cool because the aromatic system is going to give you a lot of pleasure to drive on any type of rims you're going to get on this car. So the front end of this car looks so nice. I mean, the radiator grill, it's not even the grill anymore. It just, for me, it looks like huge sensor, but it's sensor only here and there is a camera, front camera. I mean, I would say if they would do some type of grill here, so it's gonna give you more air for the radiators to cool it down since it's a battery and sometimes you need more air. There is only a small grill on the bottom which is taking the air. I know for sure there is something on the bottom, from the left, from the right, but again, here it's just huge plastic black plate. Uh, that's the design, it's not me, and it has a huge light on the top. At night, it looks beautiful. But again, during the day, this panel, plastic black panel, I would say, I would prefer if it would be kind of grill or something like the Toyota or new Lexus has, not, not the flat like that. But again, that it's a uh, new Mercedes design and it looks cool. Again, there is not so many difference on the front end between EQE and EQS. And if the, those kind of car driving pass by, I mean, passing you by, you're not going to see the difference until you're going to see the sign of the car. So on the front bumper also, what you can see, there is a kind of hook cover, tone hook cover. So you can open it, put your uh, hook and somebody can tow it. Or the tow, uh, tow truck, when it's going to come for you, when you're going to be out of battery, it's going to be easy for him to open it and pull it on. Again, some of the cars, even the cheap one, they try to hide that hook place somewhere in the grill or on the bottom. So you're not going to be able to see it. But for some reason, Mercedes... Put it on the top of the bumper because there is a radiator grill and this is a bumper so that's the top of the bumper i would say and they put it right here so everybody can see it where the hook supposed to go why i think everybody knows why so we're not going to talk about that we're going to talk the way it looks it looks just beautiful the way it is so if we're going to talk about materials the one they're using for the mercedes for the outside not only inside all those chrome pieces goes on the top goes on the bottom i think i would give those chrome pieces one year in california until they're gonna start ripping apart and uh, you're gonna see some uh, age damages appearing on those panels but if we're gonna take this car somewhere in the east coast or up north it probably gonna be one winter time and uh, you're gonna see kind of usage on those materials so they're not durable, they're not made for long. And again, this car good for lease term if you're gonna get it for 36 months or 72 months for finance, just get it, enjoy it, and return it after that. That's all what I would say about this car. So from the back of the car, it looks so nice. It's not that high. I would say again, for this EV, if you're gonna compare it to GLE, it's kind of higher, but this one, even right now, I put suspension on a high level it's still not that high. So the main, main rear light is just one piece and it looks so cool. It's like a futuristic one, right? So the chrome piece on the bottom, again, it looks cool right now. After one or two years, it's going to be not that cool. To open the trunk, it's kind of easy. You can do it from the key. What you can see right now, what I can see right now, those buttons, first time I did see them, maybe on 2005 E-Class E550, they still the same, uh, means it is a good quality and they still usable. The trunk area, it's kind of huge. I mean, again, for this UV, inside, not so many space. The second row, it is an electric one. You can lift it up, you can put it down by pushing the button 
it's kind of cool but again it's not toyota it's mercedes that's the way it's supposed to be that's what i like it on the website it says there is a seven seats optional so basically you can order the same car with two more seats in the back but i have no idea where they're gonna put the legs and the hats maybe for the kids and again for the 10 years old kids maybe it's gonna be enough but after 10 years old the kids growing up and it's gonna be not enough space i mean where the seven seats goes to i have no idea so there is no more button release button on the for the trunk inside the car there is a small hole here probably you can put like the key and open it from the inside but the way it's supposed to be it's supposed to be the button where you can release the trunk if somebody gonna lock you in so right here if somebody gonna lock you in you're supposed to have a key or some kind of shape thing to put it inside the hole and release it So I want to talk a little bit about the space in the car. So when you open the rear door, first thing you're going to see, that's the power rear seats. They're not optional. They are the standard. And uh, what I did see on the website, there is a four zone climate control. On the back right here, I cannot see climate control at all. I can only see those buttons for the power seats, which is cool. Again, the materials, what they use the Mercedes for this car, I think they're not acceptable for Mercedes. They would be acceptable for the Nissan, Toyota, and Kia. But even the Kia right now, and then done doing the same. When I check in the, when I just look at the back seat, it's all wavy. It's all not straight, and the stitches they're not straight. They saying it's a leather, but it's not leather. That's the Imbitec, which used to be since I think 2013. They invented new kind of leather, which is cheap style. Of the plastic leather and a couple years from now it's all gonna be ripping apart and like breaking here and there just cracking which is kind of normal for those kind of materials there is no wonder again that's why i'm saying that kind of car you have to get brand new for three years of lease and just return it back to them because you don't want to keep it so the main concern about all those materials i know they're going to be ripping apart i know they're going to be falling and this one the clear on the top of those panels they it's all it's all going to be peel enough for sure there is 100 percent and it's guaranteed it's gonna be like that there is nothing you can do about it and again what i would say since i'm doing the used cars i i love the used cars but this car for me it's gonna be huge depreciation so right now it's 104,000 for the brand new mercedes and after three four five years it's gonna be a lot of them on the market used my prediction is gonna be about between 42 and 50,000 so which is half of what they cost right now and it's going to be huge depreciation over the years over the five years this car it's going to be again it's going to be a lot of them junkers they're going to have a lot of those cars for parts but the people are going to be scared to buy those cars out of warranty even the warranty for this car i check it it's 120 months which is 10 years or 155,000 miles for the battery that's only battery but not about the drivetrain and all those kind of stuff the climate control your uh, ec your power some stuff so it's going to be a lot of excuses when the dealer is going to say you know what we're so sorry it's the it's out of warranty you have to fix it yourself and the people because of that people are going to be scared and the price is going to be keep dropping it's like right now the s-class mercedes 2010 2009 you can buy it for five six thousand at the auction with img package which is supposed to be 90 or eighty thousand uh when it was brand new the new Mercedes is new body style 2014 and up, not new new, but previous one 2014 and up. You can buy it about the cheapest one, I would say between 20 and 23,000 at the auction with decent mileage. Not the big one, not the 150, not the 100, not 200, but something like that. So depreciation is huge, especially for Mercedes. That's why they charge in the huge amount for the lease just to cover that depreciation, which is coming over the year of use on this car so for now it's nice nice and cool to buy it and probably later on when the price is going to be dropping and when it's going to be about thirty-five thousand at the auction with some mileage in it i would buy one and put it on for sale right now it doesn't make any sense and because there is a lot of them on the market new one and they're doing some lease special you can maybe buy it through the costco somebody told me there is a sam's costco some other type of stores they offer in discount if you do have a membership of them i have no idea i didn't check it i didn't even think about to get this brand new car but i have it to review to drive it a little bit and it's super cool and i do appreciate my friend who gave it to me 
So when you get it in the car, it's kind of cool. It's kind of SUV already. When I jump in the car, I touch the seat and I, I left the mark on the seat. Okay. So the all the floor mats, they already marked up. Even the car brand new, somebody sit inside, drove it a little bit. So when I'm going to get out, I'm going to do like that. And it's going to be marked again in the door. So all those materials, they kind of fresh. They kind of so, I would say, not durable. And, and I can feel it right away by touching it. Even the front seat right now. So I do have a black shorts. But looks like somebody drove it with black jeans or blue jeans. It's already marking. So the seat, the front seat, that leather, it's already kind of covering with, uh, not dirt, but covering with paint. Not the original one. So when I'm sitting on the back of this car, I cannot feel I'm sitting inside the Mercedes. Because the seat, it's not comfortable at all. It's like a bench. And I'm sitting on the bench. And for the bench purpose, it's a super nice power rear bench. And I can adjust some things here and there. But again, I'm not feeling comfortable. If I'm putting the middle armrest down and I'm trying to put my hand on it, uh, I'm not feeling more comfortable. It's still the same bench where I can adjust it back and forth, but it's not comfortable. So I would say, in my opinion, Toyota Highlander on the back, it would be more comfortable than this car. I just don't like it. Honestly, I do not like it. If somebody like it, put the comments. I'm not right, you know. You are the too big guy for this car, and uh, but I don't like it at all. So when it goes to the front, to the driver's seat spot, again, I'm trying to open it. Please, can you open it? Can you open for me? There's a key right here. I do have a key, you know. I'm your driver. I'm not the stranger. Okay. Now, I open the front door, and it looks like it has a lot of space for me to jump inside. I do see the power front seats, right? Switch. And I do see a lot of marks on the floor. Again, if you are designer, if you are the production factory who's doing this car, why you put in that material on the bottom of the car, on the floor, if you know it's going to be marks on it. So the material or maybe the color, it's not the right. Again, if that's the kind of material, people not supposed to step on it. Why you doing design of the seat? this way so when i'm jumping inside the car i'm for sure gonna touch the panels on the side i'm for sure gonna touch the plastic here and it's already marks everywhere it's here it's there all the floor marks they marked already it's a brand new car i mean what should i do just put the black one why it's a gray one and like i said before am i feeling comfortable by sitting on the seat on the driver's seat no i'm not even the seat feels like it's not designed for the people like me size Maybe for somebody smaller than me, but it's okay. So what else I don't like about this? It has a stop and start button. So why wouldn't you do it the same way as a Tesla doing it? If you jump in inside the car, you push in the brake, means you want to drive. But no, this car, I have to push the brake. I have to push the power button. It's going to start the car up. And now I'm ready to drive it. The sound system in this car, it is a Burmester, which is super nice. It is expensive. Even if you want to buy something used or new, each piece of that sound system, it's going to cost you a lot of money. The design of it, it's super nice because it has the same design on any kind of car. The Burmester did it itself and they just put it all over. And again, I want to say about quality of this car was assembled. I mean, I don't like it and I think for Mercedes, it's not acceptable. There is a panels right here. It's plain already. It's not attached to each other the proper way. And it's kind of everywhere. Here and there, it's moving. And I know for a fact, same as the old one, if I'm going to start unclicking those panels, they're going to be easily unclicking one piece by piece because all Mercedes is made this way right now. So, there's, so there is no screws holding. I want to tell you this, 
From my experience with old Mercedes, the used one, I'm gonna tell this one gonna tear apart in about three years, I would say. So in about five years, it's, it's all gonna start falling apart. Like for example, there is a door panel and it's super nice, it's feeling good. But again, it's already touching the dashboard and it's touching each other. So when you're driving it, it's making squeaking noise. Uh, but besides that, by touching each other, it's gonna start ripping off this kind of leather materials, which is not. And you're gonna see the holes here and holes there. So that's car uh, 100 plus thousand and those kind of things. I would say it's unacceptable, but again, that's for me, that's not for Mercedes's, right? So about the plastic, the one they use on the dashboard, uh, it's all going to be again, because of sun, because we're in California, in a couple of years, it's all going to change the color. And after you change the color, they're probably going to pull the recall on it. So they're going to replace it for free. And after three years, when it's going to be out of warranty, those clear on those materials, the plastic materials, they're all going to start falling apart. And you're gonna see it's changing the color and i think it's gonna be not so good as it looks right now so the middle armrest it's super nice it's kind of a lot of things you can put inside like the old nissan murano for example 2002 looks like the same it has usb-c type charging ports here there everywhere but not the uh, usb basically you have to buy the new wires for your phones because the old one is not going to work in this car. So the leather materials on this car, it's not leather. I think they use an MBTEC. The way I'm feeling it, it is MBTEC. Same as an old one. So there is no leather anymore. Maybe it's natural leather. I didn't do research on it and I don't want to. But it feels like it's MBTEC. So if it is MBTEC, it's going to again... The steering wheel, I think after one year, you're going to see a lot of uh, spot of the usage if you're going to drive it. If you're going to keep it in the garage, if you're not going to touch it, especially when it's super hot inside the car, it's going to be fine. But it's changing color so quick. This car, I mean, it's a brand new, maybe maybe in several days. Uh, my friend using it and it's already a lot of marks on the floor, a lot of marks on the, uh, on the roof. I don't know where they came from. And again all those materials or the sunroof cover they're all gonna be uh in really bad shape in a couple of years so we're not talking about a couple of years we're talking about brand new car the way it feels i mean it is feeling so good uh because it's brand new the steering wheel is so soft the suspension kind of nice and suspension has airmatic system which is common for the mercedes since i would say 2000s, 2002 S-Class had Aeromatic and the Tesla, Tesla S, the, a lot of Teslas they use an Aeromatic system because it's comfortable and nice and it has less problem than any any other type of uh, any type of suspension. So the steering wheel on this car looks so nice, it's like the S-Class uh, new one, the central console, the central display, it's kind of nice, I mean there is all information you can change it. You have to just use to it because it's not easy to understand where you have to go to put your radios. For example, the radio was absent on the screen and I pull it out. The climate control and all those kind of stuff. It's again, it's like a new iPhone or new iPod. You just have to use to it and, and find a way how to easy get here or there. Um, and you're going to be fine. But I mean, it's nice. It is nice and for 100,000, uh, 100,000. So it is a nice display. It is a nice iPod. You can play with that. There is a lot of different uh, functions you can do in the car. You can do the cameras, even 360 view. Uh, it's super cool. I mean, the way you can look at the car, the way you park, you can just enjoy it and take some pictures for the Instagram and put it on. So people are going to know you're sitting inside the EQS brand new and um, a lot of people already have it in the laser so there is no nobody gonna wonder about that but you can show up it's nice so what else we have on the settings for the car we do have a, a ESP system we do have a Partronics car wash mode that's really interesting I, I think Tesla at one point on my X they used to have that so you can put the car wash mode and uh, it's not going to go on drive and I'm going to go on parking when you're going through the car wash drive through. But 
they don't have it right now. So basically right now, Mercedes, they do have it. But again, there is a lot of different things. What's going to happen when you can do activate it, don't activate it. So I don't understand why. I mean, if there is a car wash, just, just put it on. Okay. So the raise level, you can raise it up probably your car at some point if you want to go over. I can hear the aromatic pump is working, pumping air. So the car is going up. Interior protection. So there is a lot of different things. I don't know why they here and um, it's kind of going to the main menu as soon as you push the, the button for the car. Uh, I would say those functions, they should be hiding somewhere. Just put something else. Why you put this one on top? I mean, the camera, okay. Dynamic. So there is no, uh, if you're going to go, for example, this way, right? There is no radio. So you have to go on the central screen. You go going to the map. Again, why when I'm pushing home, it's taking me to the map. Ah, okay. Now after three times, it's going to settings. So I would say here on the settings, you can put whatever it says here on the card. But when you push in the card, just make it to the home button. Why they make it straight to the, to the car settings. Okay, the menu is same as the GLC, Mercedes and all kind of C classes, A classes. There is nothing. I mean, again, I think this car, it's a technology. So you're not buying the Mercedes, which is supposed to have a lot of different things. It's going to be a lot of similar things with the other Mercedes is because they're using the same system. So you bind the technology, you bind the electric car. That's the battery. That's the plug-in, not using gas. That's what you're going to get. So about the other things, whatever comparable with the other car, in my opinion, again, if this one, it's a first production, not, not first production. If this car, it's a first electric car, which they position as a mass production car, EQS and EQE, uh, they're supposed to do something different. So for example, the interface, the screen, maybe the steering wheel a little bit different, change it and do it like a separate, separate cars, like a separate lane, not same as the S class, A class and some other Mercedes's. So there is one cool thing I found about, uh, about panoramic roof cover. Right now, for some reason, it's closing all the way. So if I want to open it, I can just slide my finger through the touch pad and it's going to start opening, right? So that's kind of nice. I don't know why, but I have to do it so many times like that. You can use middle finger, you can use any other finger. So now you open it, right? So now you want to close it. You have to do the same. Or you can push it, but so there is two buttons, one on the front of that sliding part and one on the back of that. So any part, any button I'm pushing on the front or on the back, it's only opening the cover, not closing it. But if I want to close it, I have to put it here on the front and it's still opening. I want to put it there. Maybe it's the same button. I don't understand. Oh, now, now there is a roof. So I want to close it. I'm doing like that looks like it's closing right now so you probably have to use to it to do like that or to do it like one time maybe two times so i'm trying to exit the vehicle right now uh and it shows me the message do not leave people or animals in a vehicle i mean in tesla you can do the protection mode maybe there is a, some kind of uh same animal mode in this car if you want to leave someone but if not so be careful just do not leave any people or animals in the car, okay? Don't forget you have a uh, people in the car before you live in the car. So, and at the end of this beautiful review about this beautiful EQS 450 Plus today, I was gonna say only this, you know, I'm done with new Mercedes and I wish the best to this car. Thank you so much for watching this. Uh, you can put some thumbs, you can put some comments. I'm gonna answer you for sure. Uh, even if I'm busy a lot, but thank you so much for watching it and have a beautiful day.